So in Uptown, we have almost 60,000 residents, and we have done research to show that those residents have $1 billion of spending, and sometimes, most of times, they will leave the neighborhood to spend that money. So we want to capture the money here by bringing even more businesses to Uptown. We believe that businesses thrive here, and we see that as an example. We've surveyed our business community recently, and um, an overwhelming majority of them say that their sales are up from years before that their revenue is up um, and we believe that the customers are here the visitors are here people are coming to uptown because it's a destination it's accessible people can take the red line they can get off um, they can be steps away from a new business people come to the lakefront especially in the warmer months and they can be steps from businesses so we believe that um, those people are really here to support businesses, and then businesses are really supportive of one another. Being in a building where you feel a sense of community is, is something that can't be explained, but you do feel like you're a part of a, a movement almost. Um, you know, it's it's not it's not like any other retail space where you're just you know in a building with four other businesses and you know you're just opening your doors every day. You really are creating you know uh, a home and an environment. So when people walk past, they feel good. You know, your lights are on. There's there's activity and there's business, and you just you feel like you're creating you know part of their living experience. Yeah. Us going into Uptown indicates that there are people willing to take risks and that there are already really good businesses there to begin with, but I think there could be a lot more businesses um, that are willing to take risks with us. I'm really excited about what the possibilities of Uptown can be. I'd rather go into a space that allows you to have a creative entrepreneurial spirit than some space that automatically pins you as, you know, a hipster or a yuppie or, a, you know, whatever it may be. I mean, this is, this is, you know, un, uncharted territory, essentially in Uptown. To be able to, to donate over or almost $150,000 uh, since we started in 2012, not only is it a metric of our success in selling flowers, which is very important too, right? That sustains us, we're a for-profit business and we always intend to be. Uh, but it also shows that these flowers that we're selling are doing a lot more than just making a couple people happy who receive them. So Jay was the first person uh, with, with uh, any kind of resources and wherewithal that believed in us. And without Jay's early support, uh, we might not be here now. So that was my first introduction to Cedar Street. Jay Michael and later his partner Alex, they both have been really instrumental to growing our business. It was great having the flat support because I really would have been lost at, at how to even start the process, what to do first. I think having that roadmap really just allowed me to, to just do the work. So anyone who comes into the Lawrence house, I think whether you're a, a commercial tenant or residential, we'd like to have an open dialogue with, with, with you, with, with you know, especially in the Flats project, I was there once. I was, um, you know, in a position where I didn't know what I know now. And I'd love to be able to help whoever, you know, is able to get into that space, develop a long-lasting impact, a brand for Chicago and for themselves. What I like about this community is that there's such an openness to all kinds of different ideas. You can see anything from Buddhist monks walking in this area to uh, members of the Vietnamese or Cambodian population. We have a lot of Ethiopians and Nigerians. 
and a, a lot of the LGBTQ community is also moving into this area. It's, it's an area where uh, so many people embrace so many different values and beliefs.